Okay, this is the timeline for when Mon Monkey, Michael, went missing. His parents are Brandy and Tyler. Tyler is not his stepdad, that's his dad. Jennifer Hannah is the babysitter, and then Jen Newman is the neighbor. So there's confusion on social media. He went missing around 6.30, and by 7.30, the Fruitland police were dispatched to his neighborhood and began to search. Jen S Smith Newman says, this kid is my neighbor. He was at my house this evening. I know the tracking dog was in his home and they haven't been at my home yet. There are helicopters, drones, etc. We do think now, this was earlier in the case, that the dogs have come to her house, but this is just a screenshot to confirm that yes, Michael was at her house a little earlier. This is a post from Michael's mother, Brandy. She was at work, so I can only imagine what she's dealing with right now, trying to understand what happened. Um, they have been asked by the police not to be on social media, not to post on social media. So there aren't many posts from them. This is really the, the one thing that I could find from her. And then this is the press release that they had uh, on July 27, 2021, 7.30 p.m. Fruitland police officers were dispatched to a residence in Fruitland regarding a missing child. And then they go on to explain what happened. He's missing from Southwest 9th Street, and he went missing right around 6.30 p.m. And they've brought out everything that they can possibly think of to search for him. This was um, a small press conference that they did yesterday. And his mother said, I just want to thank the community, all of the agencies that have been continuously, tirelessly looking. Anybody who has any information, please contact Fruitland PD. We just want our monkey home. We miss our baby and we want him home. Now, I have read about sex offenders in the area, of course. This post says... There were a couple of attempted abductions in Idaho this week, Idaho City. ICPD apparently never passed it on to Fruitland. I passed it on to them tonight. I feel he may have been abducted. I am ex-law enforcement. I went to that corner tonight and my heart sank. It could be too easy to abduct a friendly child standing out there and no one would see. So he posted about that and I went and found these other posts about attempted abductions. Um, Idaho City Hardware, which is a business, said that they're seeing this man in a, like a white van or a white sedan with a mustache and a beard driving around. A parent talks about something that just had happened to them. And then another parent, um, again, a white sedan. So this has been passed on to Fruitland PD, thank God. I'm sure they're looking into it. It's a tiny town, 5,000 people with 23 registered sex offenders. So I've gone on and circled uh, the Newman home. Right underneath it in the white circle is Michael's home. Directly across the street is another neighbor that saw him. And then there was one neighbor, um, they hadn't been named, that I could find uh, that's across the street. So it's one of the lower homes. They had also seen him running down to what they assume was to play with some children. If you have any information on Michael, contact 208-642-6006. I did reach out to Midwest EquiSearch and they referred me to the Texas location and I've now reached out to them as well.